Hey everybody on YouTube. Today I thought I'd take out another moment to do another vintage electronic repair. This is going to be sort of a combination follow-up to various other videos I've posted. This is concerning the Sony AV series, the Sony AV8600, Sony AV8650, 3400s, 3600s, 3650s, and so on. This is just the Sony EIJ series. I wanted to point out, a lot of people have been asking if they could buy parts from me, if I had parts for sale, they need parts to fix their reel-to-reel uh, -reel EIJ machines. Yes, I do have a lot of parts, and I'm going to point out a few things here in this video. Just send me your video request of parts that you might need. Uh, I'm sure I have everything you need. I have thousands of parts for these machines. But again, if you need EIJ reel-to-reel -reel parts, uh, various things. Let me know what you need and I will let you know what they cost, what I can ship you, what I might have on hand, which I have a lot of stock on a lot of stuff. So let me know what you might need. All right, first of all, we want to cover uh, basically on some various things that I have right now. Uh, if you have a Sony AV8650, all right, a lot of times the actual video and audio meters on this machine won't work. They are probably be stuck in position or they just electronically will be no good. As you can see in this photo, I have a lot of meters uh, from the Sony AV8650. I must have about 10 sets of these. They all work. Um, I do have some, so if you need any, they are for sale. Um, I am not going to sell these very cheap because they are very hard. You can't get these anywhere. They are totally obsolete and you will not find them. So if you need meters for the Sony AV8650, contact me and let me know. I can send you a price and you can actually purchase a set for me if you need them. But I do have extra meters for the Sony AV8650. All right, and a lot of people in this next picture... Uh, a lot of people uh, are not aware when they're doing uh, video repairs to these Sony EIJ machines, you're going to find out that a lot of the rubber parts are no good. I got people asking me, do I have extra rubber rollers and extra rubber clutch tires? Yes, I do. I have a lot of extra clutch tires for these machines. I have a lot of extra rollers for these machines. Mine are in very good clean shape they're not cracked or in bad shape whatsoever and they are great replacements for the ones you might need the clutch tires and rollers on these machines crack they dry out they get very slick so yes I do have a lot of replacement actual clutch tires and rollers for these machines so drop me an email if you'd like to purchase some of those if you want a replacement I do sell those as well Oh, by the way, I also deal with PayPal only. I do not take check or credit card. So if there's some parts you might need, you'll have to send me a payment through PayPal only. Also, in this very next picture, we have what's called knobs. I got a whole tray of knobs for the Sony AV8650, some for the 80, uh, 3650s, the 3600s. I have a lot of the control knobs from hundreds of machines that I've stripped out over the years. So if you need the actual control knobs, you might be missing one. I also have those available if you're interested in buying one or you need a few of them. I do have the knobs for the 8650s in particular. So if you have a, a knob in particular and you want to make your machine look cosmetically correct and have a correct knob for it, I do have those. So you can drop me an email on the model you have. I could pull the correct knob for you. And again, you'll have to pay by PayPal. Uh, I do not take credit cards or checks for anything. So if there's some parts along those lines you might need, drop me an email and I'll let you know if I got it and what, you know, what I charge for it. All right. Now I want to get to the, the main part of this video. Uh, it's, I'm getting people who are emailing me about the actual P. PG coils located on top of the video scanner. I have people asking me uh, that they're having issues with those, and let me explain to you. As you can see in these photos, the PG coils have to be at a certain height above the actual floating actual aluminum uh, plate that you see uh, that spins, that flips the PG coils, the A and B head, continuously while the machine is running. You got to make sure you have the PG coil height set correctly. It's got to be, it's got to clear the actual plate, but it's got to be very, very minim minimal gap between the coil and the plate. It's got to be very, very minimal on both sides of both coils. So you got to make sure you set 
that gap properly. What you can do on the side, as you can see, there's some screws that you can loosen up to adjust the PG, PG coil height. Make sure you get the height correct and make sure you keep the coil uh, level. Do not uh, off-center the coil or it might catch on that, on that actual plate or you might and it totally will just totally screw up that PG coil. Make sure the height is correct and make sure you got it level. Do not screw it back down if it's not level and you have the correct height. And make sure you turn your video bar so your, uh, your video heads are to the right and left so you can get that exact setting for the PG coil so you got it correct. It should be at the beginning of the scan and the end of the scan. That's what these coils do. They actually flip the head, which also is, it actually has a lot to do with your, your tracking as well. So you got to make sure the PG coils are correct the right height and a level and a correctly level with the actual plate. Do not set it any other way because you will damage the coil if you don't follow my instructions how to set these coils. Correct height and correct uh, gap between the plate and the actual coil. So make sure you got that gap correct and you got it level. Okay. Now the final thing is I pointed out in an earlier video is the brake coil. Make sure you set the brake coil gap correctly before you put your belts back on. A lot of times people got these machines and that brake coil has shifted. It's rubbing against the actual uh, spindle that, that spins with the drum that keeps your, your actual braking system going during playback and record. A lot of times the screws will loosen up and that brake coil will, will jam up against the actual spindle and slightly start dragging on the spindle and you will get a lot of uh, video noise or your, your video won't sync up. A lot of issues. So make sure you have the proper brake coil gap. That's very important. Make sure the gap, you, what you do is you screw it down, you pull out the actual uh, uh break out as far as you can to keep that gap away from the actual spindle. It's very important. If you don't and it starts dragging, you'll never be able to sync up the tape and you'll have braking and stop issues and everything else. So make sure the brake coil is set at the proper gap. Again, guys, I want to point out that if you need video parts for the AV, the Sony AV series, AV 8600, 8650, 3600, 3650s, a lot of the skip field uh, Sony machines, I have rubber parts, I have clutch tires, I have knobs, I have rollers, I have belts, I have everything mechanically you could possibly need for these machines. So drop me an email if you need it. I can sell you a part for what you might need. Just tell me what model you have. And if I need to match up a belt, you might have to send me your old belt so I can match you up a proper new one. But I do have a lot of parts for this machine, so if there's anything you need for the AV series or in some cases for the CV series, I do have a lot of parts. So drop me an email if you need any help. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.